everybody, Arashi YT here, your coach of the Groningen Noctiles, bringing you week 7 of the LBC, the last battle circuit, as we take on Kyle A, coach of the Miami Dolphins. And Kyle A was the person that invited me into this league, so for that I'm very grateful, because I had some very fun matches in this competition, and... After this match, we have one more match to go against A. Aaron 2 for 20 coach of the Calgary Infernapes. But that match will be at the end of this week. But first, we have to deal with Kyle A. And his team is looking pretty thick because he has the Toxapex. And if you don't know, Toxapex is such an annoying one to face off against. And it's probably in my top 5 most hated Pokemon to face in draft league format but the rest of his team is looking as followed he has the uh, smeargle lichen rock dusk form if i'm, if I'm not mistaken mama swine dimension toxapex decidueye and the mega latios now my time my team is looking as a followed we have the tapu fini the fictini the heracross the septos torkoal and macargo and the set is looking as followed. Uh, Fictini is uh, rocking out the uh, choice carf uh, with blue flag, glaciate, psychic, and U turn. Uh, Tapu Fini is rocking out the leftovers with Sculpt, Nature Madness, Ice Beam, and Defog. Septos is running the Ea Papa Berry with Fold Switch, Hidden Power Ice, Discharge, and Roost. Uh, Chimera, our hero cross, is uh, rocking out the Choice Scarf with Close Combat, Mega Horn, Bullet Seed, and Earthquake. Uh, Champa the Torkoal rocking out the Ground DMZ uh, because Torkoal is rocking out Earth Power together with Will O Wisp, a Lava Plume. And a rapid spin, and Macargo is a rocking out the quick loss set with Earth Power, Solar Beam, a Lava Plume, and Shell Smash. We're going to try to do our best with Shell Smash in this match. So, this is going to be a very uh, long replay. I think this replay is like around the 15 minutes, so it's going to be a wild ride. So, uh, the replay for this week has been done by. A Aaron 2 for 20, of course, so we have that delicious Citra goodness on the screen. But if it's a little bit laggy, that's probably my laptop being a little bit iffy with that. But he's going to lead off with his Smurgle, while I'm going to lead off with my Tapu Fini. Now, my Tapu Fini will be slower than the uh, Smurgle because I don't have any speed investment in my Tapu Fini. I have a lot of investment in special defense and defense, and we're just going to go for the Skull right away. And I'm going to be a very, very aggressive with Tapu Fini here. As you guys may know, I'm a very aggressive offensive coach. And I was like, you know what? We're going to do that here as well. But he is going to reveal the sticky webs on this turn. Which means that the sticky webs are now on my side of the field. Which can be very annoying because I have a choice carved Fictini. I have a choice carved Heracross. And even though I have Macargo with Quick Claw, you know, that doesn't really matter. But Choice Scarf, Chimera, and Choice Scarf, uh, Fictini, Heracross, and Fictini, those are, re are really, you know, not appreciating the sticky webs. But he's going to make a double from the Tux Pack into the Lycan Rock. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click Nature Madness. I'm just gonna click. I'm just gonna stay in, be aggressive. Uh, if he wanted to hit me with the Sludge Wave, that's all fine by me. But now that the um, Taunt has word off from the Smuggle earlier, I can now safely click Defog as he is going to reveal the Sea uh, Power C move from the Lycan Rock, which is the Splintering Tackle? Splintered Storm Shards. So, I don't know if my video will get copyrighted, but hey, I'm not ending money with YouTube uh, in the first place, so I don't even care. You're going to enjoy the full Citra goodness of this C move from the Lycan Rock, and that will not kill off the top of Fini because we are quite bulky we are also bold nature and we're going to fire off that defog so now the sticky webs are not on my side of the field anymore so my Heracross my Fictini have a you know safe switch in uh, later on in the match so here is going to uh, Put out his Lycan Rock, take out his Lycan Rock back into the Toxapex. And I'm just playing aggressively still. I'm just going to click Scald. It's not going to do that much against the Toxapex. And with the leftovers recovery, I think the Toxapex will be almost back at full. So here, if I'm not mistaken, I decided to switch out with Tapu Fini. Oh no, I, I went for Nature Madness first. 
I should have maybe switched out uh, sooner, but I just wanted to get off the um, uh, nature madness. But he is going to stockpile, and once I've saw that, you know, I, 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 I was like, oh my god, it's going to be... Like, at this point, I knew that this was going to be a long, long match, because seeing the stockpile Toxapex, I was like, I, I don't know if I can break this thing. So I'm going to go into the uh, usual uh, switch in for the Toxapex here from my team, which is the Septos, as he's going to Sludge Wave on the Septos, which is doing a good damage, but not that good enough. I think that's like a 4-5 hit KO, and I'm just going to hit that Discharge, but because of that stockpile, it's not going to kill off the Toxapex, and now he can click Recover and get all of the HP back, and with the leftovers... This another discharge will not kill, but of course he is not going to risk that. He's going to get the regenerator HP back, and he's going to go into his uh, Mamo Swine, which doesn't uh, get hit by the discharge. So here, I had to switch out as well, and I'm going to go back into my Riley the Tapu Fini because Riley pretty much did everything, and at this point I can still get a, a Misty Surge, uh, Misty Terrain up for. You know, any other shen shenanigans later on in the match. At least I have the Misty Surge now, the Misty Terrain. But an Earthquake from the Mammoth Swine uh, after the first Earthquake will kill off the Tapu Fini. So Tapu Fini will go down here. So now it's back to 5v5 in this match. And this was like, I would say, 50, maybe 20 minutes into the match. So... As I mentioned before, it was a very slow-paced match. Now, I'm going to go into my Heracross with the Choice Scarf and just click Close Combat because it was the less risky move. Um, if I went for the Earthquake right here, that would have been amazing, but I could not risk that. I could not be betting on a potential Toxapex switch in um, and then, you know, hit the Earthquake. And if he goes into something else, I would have been, you know... Hitting close combat was the less risky play for me. It, it hits almost everything except for the Decidueye. But if the Decidueye wants to come in, I still can get into my Torkoal, which is going to come in now on the Toxapex to get the sun up. But yeah, I, I went for close combat because uh, at that point I just had to do it. Because it could have helped me out a lot if he stayed in on the Mama Swine or something. But just let's get focused now on the pokemon that are on the field right now which is the torkoal and the toxapex and the toxapex will hit the sludge wave on the torkoal which is not going to do much and i can fire off an earth power but because the toxapex had another stockpile up again a stockpile up it's not going to do that much i should have just went for the ground dmc earth power here i should have just flexed the c move as well even though it wouldn't have killed it would have probably put him over half and he had to recover again but Alas, I did not click uh, for I did not click uh, ground EMC, but I should have done that just to flex. But we're now in with Macargo, and here I was like, okay, right, you wanna you wanna stockpile up to two? That's fine by me. I'm gonna play it risky. The sun is up, so that Scald was not going to do that much against Macargo, and we are going to hit that shell smash. We're going all out, baby. We're going all out in this match with Makago right now. We have the Click Claw. We have the Shell Smash. We are going all out. We have the Sun Up. We have also Earth Power on this thing. We're going to try to hit Toxapex uh, with everything we got. And we now outspeed the Toxapex, so the Quick Claw wasn't needed. But the Earth Power is still not doing that much. He's still going to Skull because our defenses has failed. But that's still not going to kill off the Makargo. And now the Sunlight has gone, but... That doesn't really matter because uh, Lava Plume will not do that much against the Toxaplex. So at this point I was still, you know, trying to go for another Earth Power. Trying to hit this Toxaplex. Maybe bank on a crit. But it doesn't kill. And now he is going to go for a recover. Which means that this Toxaplex will be over half HP here. At 75% even. Especially uh, with that left or Black Sludge recovery. I said Leftovers the whole match. My apologies. It was Black Sludge. I went for another Earth Power here. As he is going for a, another stockpile. And here I was like. He's probably going to click recover again. Right? So if I shell smash right now. I could still bank on a possible crit. And maybe kill off this thing. So I did that. 
We're going to shell smash again. We're now at plus four on the Macargo. <sighs> We're going to hit the Earth Power. As I mentioned before, the recover from the Toxapex will come. So he will be, you know, at full HP. And I think an Earth Power with a crit will kill the Toxapex, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to fire it off. But that damage, even with a crit, it would have not done that much. And the Skull will kill off the um, Toxapex. Or will kill off the Macargo. So I tried... I tried my hardest to go all out here with the Macargo. I maybe should have shell smashed two times in a row, perhaps, but I think then Macargo would have done and gone and died. So I tried my hardest here on Macargo, but still Macargo didn't got a kill. But at least we flexed with the shell smash here. Macargo did a lot. And I mentioned before, I said in my draft analysis video that if Macargo didn't got two kills in this competition that I will do a punishment for myself for not reaching that goal and last uh, this week we have our last match in the LBC against Aaron 2 for 20 so if Macargo doesn't get two kills in that match if I bring Macargo I will do a punishment and I will probably make a video where I will be saying the name Macargo a thousand times as punishment so that hopefully Macargo can forgive me for being a bad, bad trainer. But he did his best today. Macargo did his best today. So, on to the match. We are going to go into Septos uh, on the Toxapex. And of course, he's going to stay in now. He's going to stay in now. And that discharge is not going to do it that much. And he's going to Sludge Wave. And the Sludge Wave will not do that much damage because he has been boosting his defense but not his special attack but he is going to switch out his um, Toxapex again for the Mamo Swine and again this charge doesn't hit the Mamo Swine so I have to be forced to switch out yet again into my Tox uh, Toxapex my Torkoal here so we can put the Sun up yet again so we can probably Hit the uh, Mama Swine with the Lava Bloom, especially when I saw that he was going for Stealth Rocks instead of just uh, banking on another Earthquake. Which he is going to do now, but it's not going to kill off the Torkoal. Torkoal will live on 14 HP. So we're going to fire off a nice clean uh, Lava Plume here, but that's not a two hit KO. It's like. Like a few HPs above 50%. And the next Earthquake will kill off the Torkoal. So at this point I was like... Things aren't looking good for me right now. Because we are losing Pokemon left to right. And at this point I have my Heracross left. Who is now on my side of the field. Uh, Fictini and Septos, If I'm not mistaken. And two of those mods are Choice Scarf users. So here... I was like... Okay, we're going to hit that Earthquake now if he wants to go into Toxapex, but now he is going to go into the Decidueye. So, at the beginning of the match, I was playing very strong, very aggressive. We had the momentum in the match, but after like 20 minutes, it slowly crumbled for me in this match. And I lost Mon after Mon after Mon, where we're now at the point where I have Septos left, I have Fictini left, I have Heracross left, but Fictini... Uh, is choice craft and Heracross is choice craft, so we're limited in the terms of the moves, what we can do. And Septos is, you know, at 49 HP here. And he has now the Mega Latios on his side of the field. And yeah, I think it's not a surprise to say that we are, we are going to lose this match. And the only thing that I can do right now is bank on like a crit maybe or bank on something else and hope we can get the differential a little bit lower than a 5-0 uh, but again as mentioned we are choice carved on both Heracross and Fictini and here I was just like let's glaciate let's see how much this does but it's not going to do it that much it is going to lower the speed but he's going to click that surf now I could have maybe u-turned here and then go into my Heracross and then I think we could live a surf from the Megalatios with the Heracross. And then we could have 
uh, you know, click Megahorn from there and maybe play like the switching game in the, in the hopes that I can still bring it back a differential, but the Surf will kill off the Victini right now here. And now we have Heracross left with the Choice Scarf. So looking at the team, the only thing that I can do was click Megahorn, bank on a crit, uh, bank on that him staying in here on the Megaladios, but why should he do that if he wants to save differential? Because I think Kyle A was still not sure for playoffs. So he's going to go into his Toxic Packs. And yeah, we're going to fire off that Mega Horn, which is not going to do that much. So at this point, um, I believe he still wasn't sure if I was Moxie or Guts. So I think he went for a Sludge Wave now, but then a Recover after that turn, which I can totally agree of him doing that because you know you want to play safe you want to play uh you know if you can still if you can still reach playoffs but it could depend on differential or something like that you don't want to play uh, that risky uh when the win is already secured in your favor which in this case Cal a already had to win in the pocket but it was still on him betting if i was moxie or Meg um yeah, moxie or guts uh banking on like if I'm maybe not choice scarf, but if I might be like another, um, like like maybe I will see, like I totally respect him for doing that. So there was no uh, hate towards me, towards him. It was just a little bit annoying because I was like I'm already dead, but I can totally agree of him doing that in that regard. So we are going to lose this match with five. Oh, um, uh, Heracross is going to try to click. The uh, Mega Horn. It's going to try. I think I missed one out of the six, seven Mega Horns that I've fired off. But eventually, as you can see here, Heracross will go down. And we are going to lose this match with 5 0. And as mentioned in the video itself, the first 20 minutes of the match, I, I played great, in my honest opinion. I was very aggressive with the Tapu Fini. We played uh, like. I have a playstyle that is very unusual and very difficult for my opponent to get a read on which is beneficial for me because I can just play aggressively and you know with the Tapu Fini we made sure that the sticky webs weren't on my side of the field uh, he did sect off his Smurgle because Smurgle didn't have that much of a use uh, but we played very aggressively in the beginning like him going into the Toxapex and going straight into the Lycan Rock like if I went for a skull there that would have been you know, high IQ, big brain play for my part, but I had to go for the Nature Madness on the Toxic Packs, of course, because, you know, bringing that thing to 50 HP is just very beneficial. But after I saw the stockpile, I knew that this match was very difficult because Toxic Packs is just a very difficult mon to break if you don't have the right mons. And if I had the Mega Steelix, if I had Gigalit, if I had maybe Stoutland, maybe I would have been a lot easier, but, you know, I wanted to go all out with my cargo with Shell Smash, and we tried our hardest, but we didn't uh, really achieve that. So hopefully against Aaron 2 for 20, if I bring my cargo, we can hopefully get two kills, and otherwise I will be making that punishment video for you guys. And I'm a man of my word, that punishment video will come if I'm not uh, succeeding in my goals. But I want to thank Cal A for the... Um, very, very fun match still. It was a very intense match, especially halfway through. And, you know, also thanking him again for inviting me to this league. I had a lot of amazing fun matches in this league. I had a chance to use Makargo. I had a chance to use Heracross, which I'm also very grateful for because it's an amazing mod to use. And, yeah, um, my team will be in the description below in the poker pace as well as Kyle Ace side of the match as well as Aaron 2 for 20 of course for doing the replay as well as all the other coaches who has been participating in this league uh, they will all be in the description below so be sure to check them out uh, if you enjoyed this match don't forget to hit the like button comment share this video with others slash subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon because then you get notified every time I upload a new video and that is sincerely appreciated but I'm going to end off this video right here and I will be back later this week with the last match of the LBC and next week uh which is the BBL Week 8 match. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.